wow, Hunter, that was an amazing fight scene. Care to explain how we did it? Why, Nick, I'm glad you asked. First, we sacrificed a lamb to the gods. No, no, that's not how we did it. Uh, yeah, Nick, you, you sure about that? Yeah, I am. Well, what we first did, we picked our surroundings and the locations. They can make all the difference in the film. Next, we got our actors together and got them ready for a fight scene. Make sure to always rehearse your fight scene. Never improvise. It usually leads to sloppiness. When choreographing your fight scene, make sure you review your hits such as punches, kicks, knees, and elbows. For example, when throwing a right hook, make sure to pass in front of the face while simultaneously having the one being punched move so his face is moving with the punch. As so. Ah, damn! Dude, my God! I'm so sorry, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! When filming your fight scene, make sure you film the coverage. You want as many angles as possible. Now, if you don't rehearse your fight scenes, you could actually end up with something like this. Go. <laughs> what was that? What? You're, you're already a noodle. <laughs> when filming a fight scene, make sure you film in coverage. You want as many angles and shots as possible. That's right, Nick. Another reason for this is, if you leave a fight scene in one continuous shot, it looks very boring and drab. No one ever wants to sit through a film and watch just this one long shot of nothing. The more diversity in your shots, the better. But make sure not to overdo your shot changes and angles. This will make your shot look very confusing and random. Now, you may want to put two different angles of the same shot in order, because it could sometimes make the hit look more real, like so. 